guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Berg. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain and the new Fusion Silver, Fusion Black, and the Invisible 4K Tech uh, Crystal Vision uh, Projection Screens. I want to talk about um, the Super Bowl, which is coming up pretty fast. Mind you, the uh, promotion for our Super Bowl Big 180 package will be ending on um, January, sorry, February the 1st. So you have plenty of time to get in there and get your package. Now, um, just want to add real quick on how amazing these screens are. We do our screens in fully lit environments. You won't see any um, ambient light controlled environments and settings. Uh, we don't use the pitch black settings because here's the thing. If you're watching a movie, it's all good and well to have all your lights out. But if you're watching the Super Bowl, you don't want your family, your friends, your guests, you guys ought to be sitting in the dark trying to figure out exactly how to view the screen because if you turn on the lights, the screen is going to fade out or basically the performance level is going to drop on the screen. Uh, with our screens, we use something called Smart Technology Gain, which allows our screens to be able to produce a beautiful picture even in a fully lit room and the angle gain is flawless on these screens. All right, so I'm coming over here and show you what we have against the screen right now. Um, we have uh, the um, Supernova, this is Supernova here, one's Infinity, one's Blade. Over here we have the Dark Star 9. Those of you who have the Dark Star 9, uh, not to put you down or anything, but your screen has a viewing angle of 180 degrees and it has a gain of 1.9. Alright, so we'll put that right there. All right. I had to take the corners a little bit more because I want to make sure the screen is sitting flat against the screen. Over here, this is another sheet of the Supernova. This right here would be uh, the one's Infinity, one's in Blade. I know that, but like I said, you can see it has the sides taped down to make sure it lays perfectly flat against the screen. Because you'll have some people that will sit there and complain and say, hey, look, the screen ends are up, and so that's causing the screen to go dark around the edges. It should, it should make a difference if the ends are up or if whatever angle you're viewing the screen on, it should look absolutely fantastic. All right, so like I said, we're going to be doing this in a fully lit environment. I may turn, I'm going to turn the lights out also too, but we're going to do this in a fully lit environment. We're going to do this in several angle games to show you how magnificent the screen looks. And like I said, for insult for injury, just to make the challenge a little bit harder, I taped a 500 watt bar light in the center of the Crystal H dark silver screen. All right, so let's get this started right now. Now mind, just want to add really quick, you know, this screen takes in more light than your average uh, projection screen you will see on YouTube, and I'll tell you why. Because my screen is seven feet high and 12 feet across. Mind you, this screen is collecting all this light that's in this room. So all the ambient light that's in this room, this screen is being subjected to it. And yet, the screen looks absolutely fantastic. Now look at the angle gain. If you own a Supernova, not to put the company down, if you own the Dark Star 9, this is what your performance is. What we're going to do is want to go past the screen. I'm going to come here in the dining room and show you what I will be seeing on Super Bowl. Now here's my screen on an angle. There is the Supernova, there is the Dark Star 9, and there is the other end of the Supernova, Infinity and Blade, both screens. Now, I just want to add really quick, I have people saying, hey, why would anyone spend $268 for a quarter paint? Why would anyone spend $343 for two quarts of paint? Well, consider the fact that a Supernova at the screen size I have here, Literally at 180 inches, 180 inch screen, 1610, would cost you $16,000. If you wanted at 100 inches, it would cost you three to $4,000. Now you tell me, you do the math, where do you think you would come out better? Now mind you, now look at this. I can move on any angle I want, and my screen looks fantastic. 
This is the performance rate of our screen. And like I said, this is easy. If someone's doing a 100 inch screen, 120, whatever, you know what I mean? You have to prove that your screen can take on a ton of light. That's why I do the bar lights. That's why I do the spotlights to show you guys how magnificent our screens look. And look at all the light in this room. My screen is seven feet high. And on any angle, I can come all the way back here to the back of the wall. You tell me what you see. Now, if you own a supernova, if you own the Dark Star 9, this is your screen quality. This is what you're getting. I'm proving, I'm backing it up right here. Now, truthfully, truthfully, I could easily sell my screen paint for $1,000 a quart. It's beating a $4,000 supernova. Think about it. But I don't do that. And the reason why I don't do that, because like I said, when I started my company, I wanted to bring out a high performance screen paint and projection screens that wouldn't cost the consumers a ton of money. $5,000, $10,000, $16,000, $1,000 for a projection screen is insanely, it's insane in my book. It really is. It's insane. In the kitchen, there I am in the kitchen. So I'm in my refrigerator right there. My refrigerator, I can see right there. I'm in the kitchen. So I can sit here in the refrigerator, sorry, in the refrigerator, that's funny. I can sit here in the kitchen, and if I'm back here making food for my guests, and they're out there watching the game, I can peek and watch the game from here. Now, if I had the Supernova, or if I had the Dark Star 9, this is what I would be seeing. Go a little farther over. Let me go past, right in here in the next room. So you can see I'm in the next room. So this is what you're getting if you own one of these screens. Now mind you, this is you in the kitchen. Game's going on. You own a Supernova, you own the Dark Star 9, you paid money for these screens. And, some, and, a, and something happens and you go to turn to look at the screen, that's what you're getting. Anybody owns a Crystal Edge screen, this is what we're getting. Also, too, with this kit, the Super Bowl kit, you will get a surface. Mind, the surface is a 9 feet high and 12 feet across. So, say you can't paint on your wall because you rent. Easy. It comes with a surface. It comes with an 8-way stretchable acoustic weatherproof surface, which will allow you to be able to build your own customized massive giant big screen screen. Now, look on the back of my screen. This is how my screen is designed. Very easy to put together. That's one of the cables actually so the screen can be mounted to the wall, but yeah, very easy to put together. Got these strips of wood from Lowe's. You can get it from Home Depot. They'll cut it for you if you don't have the equipment. There's the L brackets, just like building a picture frame. Put it all together, put your supports in the middle. Take the material, stretch it over the side. Mine doesn't fit all the way over because I extended my screen, but you take the material, you stretch it over the side, you staple it down, and then you just coat it with our Crystal Edge technology screen paint, and voila. You have a 180 inch screen for the Super Bowl. Now mind you, I noticed that there are some people making screens out of drywall. Let me explain something to you about drywall. If anyone's ever worked with drywall before, I have. Drywall only comes in a particular size. It comes in a size that's four by eight. Now unless they change the sizes, but the last I checked it was four by eight. Now a four by eight sheet of drywall is pretty heavy. Now mind you, if you're gonna do a screen of this caliber, you're gonna need about maybe four sheets. You might need a little more than that, maybe five, four to five sheets. Now mind you, when you put this drywall up, you can't have screws this small. And I'll tell you why. You need something called a stud finder. Now a stud finder, you're gonna have to find all the individual studs in the wall because when you screw those screws in into the drywall, they're gonna to have to anchor into the studs. If not, the screen is gonna come out from the wall and crush you. It's gonna crush you, your kids, or your pets. But it's gonna come out from the wall. That's why you have to get a stud finder, because a stud finder will find all the areas where the studs are at where you can actually secure the drywall to that particular area. If not, this sucker's going to yank up on the wall and you're going to get murdered with it. So that's what I'm trying to say, you know, not trying to put anybody down if you're building the screen out of drywall, but just be, be, be prepared that you're going to have to find those particular studs in your wall to anchor that screen. Also, too, there's going to be a lot of sanding because you need joint compound. You're going to have to put these metal brackets on the side of the, um, the drywall because if not, it's going to become brittle and it's going to break away. 
There's a whole lot of stuff you got to go into when you're doing a drywall screen. Also consider the fact that this is going to be very heavy. It's going to be a lot of work. So it's very easy to use our packages because our packages come with an eight-way stretchable surface. Now mind you, just think, where do you know that you can buy a surface, well actually you're getting it for free with us, but get a surface that's nine feet high, 12 feet across. It's acoustic. It's treated to be weatherproof. And you're gonna get that for pretty much next to nothing. We give you that for free. So say you rent, can't paint on your wall, you can build your screen. You can have this. Like I said, I'm doing this in a fully lit room. Let's turn the lights out. Let's see the difference. And get right in the center. You tell me what you see. This screen looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Look at that. Any angle I want. Look at this. Boom. Look at this. This is freaking incredible. Look at this. Look at the angle gain on our screen. Now you see that light that's coming down? That's the light that's coming off the bar light. The bar light is literally hitting the screen. The screen's being hit with a 500 watt bar light. Back in the kitchen again. Even with the lights out, our screen is more superior. Look at this. Come Super Bowl, like I said, you can go out and spend the money for a white projection screen, which is going to wash out when the light hits you. You can go out and get one of these high and expensive screens, which are going to end up looking like this. Or you can save your money and save time, get the Crystal H technology screen paint and have this performance. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. Hope you enjoyed our video demonstration. Hey, if you like what you see, hit the like button and please subscribe. I'd like to thank you all for watching.